If you're thinking about moving to St. George, Utah, and you're wanting to buy a home here, but all you see is negative propaganda across all of the YouTube channels and in the news, housing recessions, housing bubbles, interest rates, I'm here to tell you the truth about the last five clients that we helped buy in this market. And if you still don't feel like buying after that, that is just fine. But if you'd like to learn exactly what to do in our current Southern Utah real estate market as a buyer, seller, or investor, stick around until the very end of this video because I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about living, working, and playing in St. George, Utah. My name is Nick Rostopchin. I'm a real estate agent right here in St. George, and I love helping people relocate into this area. So if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, maybe you're just pondering your move, please reach out to me anytime. We absolutely love hearing from you. And if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button, the notification bell right next to it, and the like button and do all of those things, it helps the YouTube algorithm to promote this video to more people that may benefit from this data. If you've seen these market update videos in the past, you know that sometimes I like to dive into the numbers and I find that a lot of this information is simply irrelevant. However, if you're here for that, I will drop a link below this video to our website where you could pull all of this data. But let's talk about what it is actually like for our buyers, sellers, and investors in this market. I will provide chapter below this video. So if you're looking at a specific sector of the market, you could skip right to that moment, but you're probably not going to want to skip any part of this video because we're going to get into some really interesting details about what it's actually like to be buying homes right here in Southern Utah in the month of October. Folks, it is now the end of October and the interest rates are at around 7.1%. So I'm going to compare some of the things in this market to what things used to be like in March of 2022 when the interest rate conditions were a little bit more favorable, and that's what the media pushes off of with their fear-mongering propaganda. So in March of 2022, if you were one of my clients and were shopping right here in St. George, I would tell you that I need to be patient and we're likely going to write two or three offers and see which one of them gets accepted. We're likely going to have to waive some contingencies. We're going to have to offer over appraisal. And really, it is a strong seller's market. However, now in almost November, um, the rates are at around 7.1% before the Fed came, comes out with their announcement on November 2nd. We see where CPI is at. But right now, rates are at around 7.1% for a well-qualified buyer. So that had significantly washed out the buyer pool. And it created a scenario where the builders and sellers have to provide some sizable concessions in order to continue to keep their listings moving. Most listings in our market had dropped by nearly $100,000 in price, in asking price, and you could still come in significantly below that. We've been able to do that on several of our deals that we put under contract over the month of October. And you also, as a buyer, have the ability to go and actually shop around and look at multiple homes without the fear of having to instantly write a contract. I wanted to show you guys, this tool was presented to us by one of our lenders. So if we look at a median sale price, it's right around 600,000. So we, we rounded it for just round numbers. In March of 2022, if you were to buy a home at a median sale price right here in Washington County, you would be looking at a $600,000 house with anywhere from 8 to 12 offers. And you would also most likely have to offer up to $75,000, in some cases even more over asking price. So your final price would be six seventy-five. dollars If you were to put down 20% on your mortgage, your down payment would be about $135,000 in your loan amount of 540 and we're being conservative here with the interest rates at 3.88%. Again, this is kind of the best case scenario. You'd be looking at a $2,539 monthly payment versus current. Um, that home is likely listed at just $500,000. There's just one offer. It's your offer. That's right. And you get to typically come in 
anywhere from, I would say, 5% to sometimes as high as 10 to 15% under asking. So in this particular scenario, you could come in at about 475. So your final price is 475 and your down payment is significantly less because of a smaller purchase price. So your down payment would be 95,000 just to get to the 20% threshold and avoid the mortgage insurance. So your loan amount would be just 380,000 and your uh, total payment is 2496 at 6 0.88% interest rate. But, you know, that figure is no longer realistic. So let's say if it's 7.1%, this recalculates it for us. So your new payment would be at $2,553. So you're paying a couple couple hundred bucks more in most cases. Um, but your your total overall savings in this particular example is nearly 200,000. In other words, just based on what we saw here, you're able to spend a couple hundred bucks more a month on your payment. And I would never recommend that you shop to the extent of becoming house poor. Whatever you could afford in the current rate environment, there is a really good chance that the rates are going to come down within uh, a relatively short period of time. And you're going to build equity your entire way as these rates drop versus spending more money out of pocket and never getting that equity back if you bought just a few months ago. So right now is a great time to be a buyer based on that. And typically, what comes up must come down, much like the property values. The interest rates will do the same thing. Uh, we're, we're waiting to see what CPI data will be announced in the November 2nd meeting. And the Fed is proposing two more hikes before the end of the year, anywhere from 75 basis points and then I think up to 50 basis points on, on the second hike. Don't quote me on the exact numbers, but most numbers have a significant lag, significant delay in how these numbers get brought to the Fed and how they react. So there's a really good chance that by the middle of next year, my, my personal prediction, and I've been wrong before, but I think by Q3 of 2023, we should see a significant rate reduction. And one thing you don't want to do as a buyer is wait until the rates drop, because if that happens, typically so will the inventory. Right now, we have... 1,300 listings in Washington County Board of Realtors. And we're starting to see a lot more inventory. Uh, what I like to call, and a lot of the sellers don't appreciate that term, but I would say if you're selling your property right now, you fall into the category of distressed sellers. Either you're distressed by money, you're distressed by time, or you're distressed by circumstances. Because more than 93% of all Southern Utah, actually not just Southern Utah, Utah homeowners are financed at a rate below 5%. So in other words, if the rates continue to raise, we're actually forecasting to see some of that inventory go down. The same thing with the builders. A lot of the builders are currently either halting projects or taking a step back on the number of permits that they pull. So gone are the days of the builders pulling 50 permits for specs. A lot of the builders are kind of holding back and seeing. So um, what I'm anticipating is that new construction will actually apply upward pressure on the values because cost of labor, cost of fuel, and cost of materials is not likely to come down. So right now, we're in this kind of a sweet spot. If you're able to afford to buy something at the current rates, chances are that you're going to be able to refinance it and build equity on the way up because right now as a buyer, you're in a driver's seat. Now, what happens if you have to sell right now? Well, as a seller, you should really consider hiring the right real estate professional to be in your corner because the number one mistake that most sellers could make right now is find themselves in a position of catching a falling knife, right? You don't want to catch it at the very bottom. And we're starting to see a lot more price reductions. We're starting to see a lot more seller concessions and a lot more things that are enticing for the buyers to buy that specific property. So my, my number one rule is to price your property right. If you're, if you're able to price that property well within what's listed in your neighborhood and maybe slightly below, 
the chances are you're not going to find yourself in a position of somebody that has to catch a falling knife. Now, if your property has sat on the market for a little while and you're not seeing any showings or any activity within the first 30 days, chances are you're competing with the Fed rate hikes and you're trying to figure out how to catch that falling knife without seriously injuring yourself. Because if you're not aggressive enough on the price reduction structure and you can't catch up to the Fed, chances are you're going to do several until it no longer makes sense to sell. So before you list, make sure to consult a qualified professional. Whether you're here in Southern Utah, we would love to hear from you. We'd love to share our insight on what things are selling for in your neighborhood. My contact information is in the description below. Or if you're shopping somewhere else, we have a great referral network with great real estate agents, pretty much coast to coast. We have so many folks that are moving to Southern Utah. And make no mistake, Southern Utah is a beautiful place to live. The only mistake that you can make when you're relocating into this area is moving into the wrong neighborhood. So reach out to us. Let us know a couple of things about you, some things that you love, some things that you dislike, some of the must-haves for the neighborhood and the property. And we'll be sure to put you in touch with the right neighborhood, and we'll definitely be able to put you into the right property. So if you're thinking about selling in this market, we're happy to help. And be sure to be cognizant of where the market is at, where the rates are headed, and what the buyers are doing. So having access to that quality information is going to be key. If you're thinking about investing in the current Southern Utah real estate market, there are definitely some deals that are becoming available. We haven't seen anything too aggressive in the way of multifamily. But I know that those deals are going to come. Um, if you're thinking about just parking a 1031 exchange and putting it in an asset that's going to do better than cash in the current conditions, that's been a little questionable. But long term, you know, real estate is usually 10 to 15 years. If, if you're thinking about buying an asset right now and then flipping it within a year or cashing out or refining, I'd say probably stay put and, and look at, at some of the areas. One thing that's been historically great about Southern Utah is the lack of entry-level housing and high prices as of recent on most rents. So prices uh, have been softening across the board for real estate between rents and uh, real estate that you could purchase. However, I do not anticipate the builders beginning to build a high volume of entry-level housing that people could actually purchase. So if you're thinking about investing in real estate here, multifamily or single family, entry level tends to do really well in terms of secure rents and being able to actually hold on to it and ride the market on the way up. Because I think any of the properties that you're able to purchase for three fifty dollars or 400000 right now are not going to cost that much. They're going to cost substantially more 10 to 15 years from now. So you could more or less count on that appreciation. And if you put a quality tenant in those properties, things are going to make sense. Now, it is more difficult to do that with the current interest rates, especially on non-owner occupied properties. But I would say right now you have the opportunity to purchase something. And if you could still crunch the numbers and make sense at the current rates to where the cap rates make sense and your mortgage is well covered by the rents, and that's that's the best solution. And if, if you need help with crunching down numbers, I'm happy to help you analyze deals. That's what I love to do with my free time. I analyze real estate deals backwards and forwards and sideways. I have several tools that help me be efficient, and I'm happy to help you analyze your real estate deal and see if we could find a deal that cash flows and makes sense for you in this real estate market. Some of our clients uh, have diversified into commercial real estate right here in Southern Utah, and we have uh, some options to help you with that as well. Folks, whether you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in Southern Utah real estate market, a great place to start would be our website, which is housesinsaintgeorge.com. You could browse all of current MLS listings to get a good idea on what the homes in this area are worth. And of course, even better than that, you can reach out to me, call me, text me, email me. We absolutely love hearing from our subscribers and we would love to be of service to you. You can reach out to us anytime. I will link a couple more videos right here that might be helpful for you based on the YouTube algorithm. It'll suggest what is best. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.